Alrighty, what is going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to the channel for another market update. Hope everybody's having a lovely day. And with that being said, get into the TA. Alright, so we are going to start off by taking a look at these daily candlesticks. Guys, guys, we have a wide-bodied green bar. Just going to point out, it's not the most bearish thing. Now, I know you don't see it right here, but you actually also surpassed the 0.786 Fibonacci. That is the top of the golden pocket. That tells us that we are likely going to be running back up to the high. Now, we do have big data coming out tomorrow morning. We do have PPI. We already know CPI came in hot. I won't be surprised if PPI comes in hot. Maybe it scares everyone a second time, but I will be bullish on the dip. We're going to be talking about in this video where I will be looking to buy the dip if we get this, these opportunities. All right. Uh, but you come over here to QQ. You got a pretty similar look, guys. Yesterday, we did point out that on the daily and the four hour time frame, you did recover the four hour nine EMA right here. The last, you know, the, for a while. All right. I'm talking, you go back years. This kind of just, you know, stays the trend. Guys, when you're in an uptrend here and you recover the nine EMA, you typically are going to push back up to the highs. You start recovering. Um, let's just review the last few times this took place. Oh, you recovered right here. Went back up. Recovered right here. You went back up. After this decline, you recovered right here. You went back up. All right. Oh, recovered on this candlestick, went back up. All right. Here's the exception. All right. But eventually you just wrote it up. Now on SPY, it's the same exact thing. It's on the four hour time frame. You have the last time, you have the time before that. So we got two, we have a three, we have a four, we have a whole lot of chop right there. All right. But over here after the last sell off, a five. Oh, couldn't get a close above it. A six. You got above it, you started running back up. And then, oh, look at that. You had a fake out right there. But you could see what I'm talking about, all right? Um, so I did point out that I was <laughs> going to point in the bullish direction here. We had a bullish-looking setup, in my personal opinion. And I was looking for you to at least come up to the golden pocket. Now, we're going to put all of our drawings on. We have quite a mess here. We're going to come over to the 15-minute time frame. Let's take a look at what we are, uh, you know, we're, we're watching for pretty much. All right, guys. So you are in this rising wedge here. You do have a... Triple bearish divergence going here on the 15 minute time frame and the five minute time frame. You just go like that. Uh, so that is to be noted, but I will point out I did take out the golden pocket. I took it off the chart. Why? Because we've already seen it surpassed as of today. All right. Um, so you have that going on. I'm just saying you got above uh, 501. We are saying 580. That is where we were looking at, but 501 to be safe. You got above there, guys. You went for a ride. All right, you got all the way up to the high of 502.20. Now, I am thinking we're probably going to sell off here, but I am bullish on this dip. I do think it is going to be bought, and you could see these arrows, all right? So I'm looking for buyers to step in in one of these spots. And if you end up, you know, there is a third scenario here, which this is the actual place I, I really would love to buy this thing, all right, which would be down here. All right, guys, if we get a sell-off tomorrow, I think it gets bought up. And it could be, you know, if it's aggressive, it could be all the way down here. And that would just be the golden pocket. All right. So just going from where, you know, you, you based over here from here to here. This would be right over here. It, it, it aligns perfectly with 496. So it is something that I still think is on the table here. You do have this rising wedge. And if you actually you could draw another one like this. All right. So you have that going on there. I know it's quite a mess we have going on in these charts but let's take away one pair of these lines one set of these lines there and now you have a rising wedge there you're starting to break down from it all right maybe you want to use that right there all right that you're riding up right there now you're starting to break down guess what let's just remove this one right here let's pretend we're probably not pretend we're probably going to you know ignore this thing and come all the way down here to 498.50 ish or down here at 496. Those are really the two spots that I'm really looking to buy this thing. I'm not going to buy this thing if it comes right here. Um, but I am bullish on this dip. Why? Because you surpassed the 0.786 fib. Guys, we're not going to sit there predicting on this channel. All right. We, you know, if we see things, we're going to say things. I've, you know, been around the block here for the last few years, tracking this price action exactly like you're seeing in today's video. And I'll tell you, we, you know, see a lot of the same patterns over and over and over and over again. So I'll tell you about them. I'll tell you what's likely if things are going to be happening. Uh, 
But guess what? We're going to also sit back and just kind of let price action develop. And when we see our shot and we know it's probable because we've been around the block at this point, guess what? We're going to take our shot there. All right. Speaking of which, let's just let's just point out this first uh, before we go any further, guys. Oxy has absolutely exploded today. Uh, congrats if anybody was looking for the same exact move. Congrats if anybody's playing this move as well. This thing is an absolute beauty. Uh, yeah, this is just the beginning. Uh, as you can see right here, this is what I shared with the Discord earlier. Uh, we have a 12% move on the last one with no setup. You did get it bounced from the same demand zone down here uh, on the weekly time frame. So I'm just putting it out there. You got the same demand zone going on there. Same buyer should be stepping in. And guess what? You've only had an 8% rip from, well, now, you know, you've moved a little further. You've only had an 8% rip from the low all the way over here. No, nonetheless, over here, only a 7% rip right now. Uh, yeah, I, guys, I'm looking for you to come all the way up here to the gold to pocket. 62 bucks. Congrats if you were in the move. All right. Um, let's get over to back to the end. I just want to shout that one out. Uh, speaking of which, guys, today is the day that we're switching over to WAP. So there is going to be no more uh, Patreon option. Uh, current Patreon members, you guys, you know, are still going to be there. It's just no new members over on the Patreon. We're going over to WAP. We can run a bunch of discounts on the WAP. Speaking of discounts, there is going to be, so it, the price is going up to $80 from $40, but there will be three more days. You have until Sunday. These are This is the last chance to get in at $40 per month, or you can, you know, choose the other payment options there, the other, you know, quarterly, annual, or lifetime there. Uh, all will have the 50% discount, uh, whatever you buy in at. It's not like the one month, oh, it's 50%, and then it goes back up. Nope, you will stay at that price. Uh, if you, you know, use the discount code LAUNCH, it will be shown down in the description as well. Uh, so there you go. Just click on the link in the description. There is that. Uh, yeah, guys, we have killed Oxy today. I am on it. I'm mind blown about this, guys. It should have been code Oxy because this is act absolutely ridiculous. All right. Another one. Tesla. Another one. Another one. Oh, yeah. Another one. Speaking of which, I mean, aside from the indices, guys, this is just insane. We got to get back to the indices before we talk about some individual tickers. I do think there's some juicy setups going on, and we're going to talk about them, but we're going to finish talking about the indices, all right? Uh, so that's really what I'm watching for SPY. I do think it's likely that we start to turn down here. I'm bullish on this dip. You do have the 15-minute triple bearish divergence going on. So, guys, what did we talk about the other day? $5 move down. This would be your $5 move down. $4.96 is completely on the table, in my personal opinion. There you go. All right, we're going to come over here to QQ and what you got going on, all right? You did have this larger rising wedge going on here. You broke down from it, sideways grind, but you also had this bull pennant. So we're aware of that as well. So I, I was just telling, the, you know, the... the uh, the Discord members, guys, just like, you know, I, I don't think it's it's best not to get involved in this choppy price action. This is the spot where we take the profits. Actually, let's let's review the morning briefing right here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Buy is now in the golden pocket. This is exactly where we look for sellers above the 0.786. We look for new high past 503.50. There are currently no bearish divergences on SPY's smaller time frames, which leads me to believe we'll be taking out the high. Something that also supports this day yesterday, we got the four hour close of the four hour 90 MA. That's significant, and it was exactly what I want to see for a run back up to the high. The last four times this took place, it was your warning sign that the correction is over. Uh, will this time be different? Probably not. VIX does have the 15 minute uh, bullish divergence as SPY is going to open in the golden pocket. So, again, this is exactly where we look for sellers and look to take profits if you wrote it up on. If you wrote it up. On QQ, we have a rather bullish look. I get that it's in a larger rising wedge and eventually will play out. But for the time being, we have buyers recovering the 4-hour 90 EMA and price is now back in the gold epoxy. So just like SPY, this is where we look for sellers to step in for at least a pullback. But if the 0.786 FIB is taken out at 436, then QQ is very likely running back up to the high of 439. I, I'll be watching for a 15-minute bearish diverge to form on QQ and SPY, but the fact that there are none as it enters the gold epoxy tells me further upside is likely. On IWM, if it... It surpassed the point. It surpassed the point seven eight six fib in pre market, which tells me it's likely going to do so during regular hours. Above two one thirty five, we could see two hundred three fifty. Good luck out there today. Tomorrow's PPI data 
if the market consolidates today preparing for tomorrow's move don't be surprised best to scale out of positions before big news events because guys we don't know what's going to happen with those big news events we have absolutely no idea so i'm just putting it out there it is best to do yourself the favor and just take the stress off okay so what the market gaps up massively all right you can have some positions on just don't have the farm on the line don't have half the farm on the don't have a lot of the farm on the line they're news events we have no idea just like you come over here to uh, the daily time frame, and we could see what happened on CPI day. Guys, you had a big, fat, nasty gap down. If you, you know, do you see that? That's minus 1.5% there. If you were heavy into stuff, that that is quite a hit, and that is probably very stressful. You don't want to be stressful as a trader. I'm telling you that right now. It's not going to lead to good decision-making. All right, we're going to look at Mr. VIX, guys. We were looking for that VIX crush. It's currently finding buyers here at the 9 EMA, but I am going to point out you can keep declining here it really is going to come down to that ppi data but i am bullish on that dip either way it does not like to me it doesn't matter what happens tomorrow guys i'm what i'm ready to buy that dip i'm ready to ride some things up i think oxy is just getting started either way all right so maybe it pulls up pulls back but you know i'm just putting out there oxy we got tesla you got amd you got all these things just looking quite immaculate to me and i don't think it's really going to matter too much if the market gets scared a little bit and shorts get involved a little bit and then we get another setup to play okay um with all further ado let's talk about iwm and then we're going to talk about some individual tickers all right uh iwm guys this thing is uh it's looking like it wants to break. I'm just putting it out there. It looks like it wants to break up. Guys, you get a you get a, a cool PPI data somehow tomorrow or just a tame one. Just not a B, okay? If it's hot like CPI, then I don't know what to tell you. You're probably going to see, you know, market participants get a little scared because CPI was just hot. And it's not something they want to see, all right? That means, you know, uh, they got to keep rates higher for longer. Who wants that? Okay, so bad things if it comes in hot. And that means IWM probably won't do what I'm talking about. But you are currently right at resistance, and it, you know it's slightly over this high. I think it's likely we're going to go for a ride up here to 209. So I'll make the call, guys. All right, above 205, we are looking for 209. But I also think 209 is just likely. That's my call. I, I think 209 is likely. You get a nice, not hot, not smoking hot PPI print tomorrow. I think you're going to be looking good. All right, and if you want to know what I'm talking about, right here you have got core PPI today. We did have this. Uh, you know, at 1.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you had a uh, a speaker there. We do have some speakers here tomorrow, some Fed speakers. All right, so you have that guy, and then you are also going to have that person at 12 o'clock. So those are two people that you can, uh, you know, just expect them to probably move the market. But PPI is definitely going to be moving the market and at least giving the sentiment for the day. So definitely something that I think people should be paying attention to tomorrow morning. But like I said, guys, past the 0.786, we look for the high to be taken out. That happened on IWM. All right, let me just put on that one. Guys, we were looking for buyers in this golden pocket. They stepped up. Then we were looking for a bounce into this golden pocket. Guess what? Today, you gapped up right over here. Already took out the 0.786 in pre-market. So we knew it was likely that you were going to take it out intraday. And if you did get moving and grooving, 20350 was going to be the next resistance, which was right here, the high of this candlestick, 20355. So... You know, guys, price action is pretty clean on these indices recently. If you have been struggling with it, just follow along with the channel, guys. Just, I got you, all right? I promise there's not another channel out there like ours right here. I promise, all right? We cover a lot of, we got a lot of freaking value here on this channel every single day. If you want a more in-detailed, you know, approach to this, if you're struggling, you know, intraday, there you go. You got the Discord, but I'm just letting you know, guys, just follow along with the videos. All right, the work is pretty impressive, and I guarantee if we, you are following the thing that is going to be working, then you will see what works, and then you can apply what works, and there you go. That's a recipe for uh, success over time. There you go. That's positive reinforcement on what works. And guys, I'm not going to clutter your mind with stuff that doesn't work. I promise. We only discuss stuff that works here in this channel. Only. All right, let's get into some individual tickers. The first one I'm going to talk about, AMD. AMD is consolidating after breaking out here. I am just going to point out, whenever this does break, all right, this is going to be quite massive. You had a range here, all right, whenever this breaks, 180.01, that is going to be the high of this candlestick right here. You have a range of 10%. It is a, you know, $16, $17 range between this candle and right here. Whenever one of these breaks, meaning down here or right here, you're going to see a big move. All right, we're going to take that off. 
We're going to unclutter the chart there. Take that off. All right, guys, alerts make your life a lot easier when you're watching multiple tickers. You might as well take, you know, take advantage of them. They're worth using. Even if you just watch one, you could have a bunch of alerts. You know where price is going at all times, and you don't have to watch the charts. All right, you just kind of check in on the charts. You adjust your charts, and there you go. But alerts, they, they will help you out, I promise. Trading view allows you to have, I think it's, you know, 15 or something like that. With the essential plan, go for it. All right, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Um, but I'm just pointing out, guys, you already had your breakout from this bull pennant. That is what we were paying attention to. You clearly knew sellers were stepping in there at this trend line. They're watching it because you got, you know, this false breakout right here. You got a big, fat, nasty wick. And then, boom, you finally did get your breakout. It looks rather nice. And I'm just putting out there, I think you're just consolidating and market is going to wait on that PPI data. If it's cool PPI data, this thing might explode. If it's hot, this thing might pull back to right here and then explode. All right. Next one we're going to take a look at is over here in Oxy. Oxy, guys. All right. I don't care about the earnings. We knew about the earnings. We knew the stock was being held down right here at this trend line. We literally knew it right here. We knew it all right here. I was trying my shot. Guess what? Then I figured, you know, you keep getting these false breakouts over here. You're probably just going to consolidate slash pull back into earnings and then go off earnings. It was either going to be a gap up or you get a scenario like this. In a scenario like this, I get to play it. So we played it. All right. And there's a, there's a sick, nasty mover and all in one day, guys. Some, sometimes I know I put a lot of time into my system and stuff like that. Uh, it was literally just, there was like a two month period where that is all I did. You know, I'd go to work and that, that is what I did because I, I knew like that is the problem that would start solving everything. That is literally what would, you know, if I nailed it. Okay. If I had a system that worked, you know, pretty much it's not even like my system fails. I'm going to be honest. Like, you know, risk management comes into play guys, but same time, you know, most of these, they end up popping off. I'm just going to put it out there, but it blows my mind because when I was back testing guys, I didn't find ones that just exploded like these, like, you know, recently we had Carvana recently, just insane. All right. Some of these things, like it blows my absolute freaking mind. I think AMD is up next. I'm just going to put it out there. I think AMD is loading. All right. But um, yeah, Oxy guys, this is just day one of this. You just had your fresh uh, downturn break. You literally came down here. You found buyers in the golden pocket. This is like beyond sexy to me, all right? And then you pushed up to the high, and now you broke out. Now, what this effectively does is you have a low here. Up until this point, guys, you kept, yeah, you kept making, you know, higher lows here, right here. But you're making a lower high, okay? So up until what happened right here today, you were in a downtrend. And, well, slash neutral there. Guess what? You have a low. You have a high. You have a higher low. You have a higher high being put in today, right now, all right? So I'm bullish on any pullbacks. I don't think it's going to pull back right away, but I am bullish on any pullbacks if we get them. And uh, yeah, there's that. You guys see this freaking volume right here. I'm looking for a move into the gold pocket, which is all the way up there at 62 bucks. All right, congrats if you were involved in the move. Boom, bop, bing, boop, pow. All right, next one we're going to talk about is Mr. Tesla here. All right, I'm not even going to take off these TPs. There was a trade plan, plan from before. Glad it's now breaking out. Guess what? Literally everything. Uh, let's actually look at the focus list real quick this week. I'm I'm curious. All right. Oh, let's look at our boy Path. I actually I, I wasn't gonna talk about Path, but we're gonna talk about Path before I forget to talk about Path. Path. All right. It's being a little it's laggard compared to everything else in the market right now, but I still like the setup. Path had a perfect break and retest. We pointed this out the other day. I think this thing is going to continue on up to the highs. So we'll talk about that, all right? But coming back over here, we got Path. We got W doing that, all right? We got Tesla. We got Schwab. We got MU. MU, that was a disappointment. I will not deny there, right there, right there. Well, you had one day, all right? You had your one-day break. Nike, immaculate. FSLR, immaculate. You, immaculate. Oh, this was, we're getting into last week, though. All right, so like, oh, it's beautiful. You was actually something that was looking pretty good, all right? Look at this. You found buyers in the golden pocket. I just love, I love seeing the golden pocket work just everywhere. It's golden pocket inception. I absolutely love it, guys. I really do. All right. Um, let's talk about some Roblox. All right. You are getting a topping tail today. Just putting it out there. All right. But you did have this fresh breakout. And I will say, weekly chart ain't looking so bad. The fact that you move back up tells me this dip's probably going to be eaten. If you don't die tomorrow, that's going to be a bullish looking candlestick. Speaking of bullish weekly candlesticks, guys, what is this? What is this? Four cam uh, hammer candlesticks back-to-back? -back, four long lower wick or three hammers? 
guys, this thing's going to explode. All right, it it going to explode. That's that's all I really have to say there. All right, arm. Speaking of bullish candlesticks, on arm, we called this one out yesterday. There you go. I'm not saying play the thing, but if you want to gamble, this thing is actually breaking out above this little range it's been in, and if it can hold above there, then yeah, you're probably going to have a good time. Get above 135 and sustain yourself above there. You're going to have a good time. Netflix. All right, Netflix with the with the clicks. Okay, coming above the 0.786 fib. Be bullish on the dip, baby. This thing's going to all-time highs. We're watching out for that dip. Oh, yeah. All right, but yeah, you broke above the 0.786 fib, guys. That tells me to be bullish on the dips, just like you had that little thing going on right there. You had that little bearish consolidation. Well, you had bullish consolidation going on here. We pointed this one out in yesterday, yesterday's video here. All right, but now I am saying it is now above the 0.786 fib. I am looking for all-time highs. I'm not saying it doesn't come without pullbacks, but I do think 615 is next up from right here. Okay? All right. Shop. Getting your continuation. Confirmed your hammer candlestick from yesterday. We're looking for that golden pocket. I'm looking for positive PPI data. Even without the positive PPI data, I'm looking for a move up, guys. I'm bullish on this market. All right, I think we're going to take out the high. I think SPY is going above 503.50. All right, next one we're talking about is Avgo. We mentioned this the other day. You started breaking down, then we mentioned it down here at the trend line. Now we're mentioning it one more time. Why? Because this thing is in a bull pennant. All right, this thing is literally in a pennant, and this thing looks like it has potential here. Just putting that one out there. All right, it looks like this thing can get moving and grooving. We've seen things get moving and grooving with these smaller market caps. SMCI with the 55 bill market cap. What does our boy over here, Avgo, have? I know it's larger than that. It's much larger. I understand. But this thing can do some crazy things like this. All right, and if NVIDIA can come over here with a $1.8 trillion market cap and just keep going, our boy Avgo can do the same. Just putting it out there. Now the SMH is above the 0.78s. Well, it got above there in pre-market, okay? It got above there, so me in my head, I'm looking for this dip to be bought up, all right? As long as you don't die tomorrow off PPI, guys, I think we're going to have a, a pretty nice time over here on some of these setups. Next thing we're going to talk about right here is an Apple, all right? Apple is finding buyers on the golden pocket. This is another reason I am bullish on the dip if we get one, but I am actually looking to play some Mr. Apple. This thing has had a month and a half of consolidation, and we are talking about right here, well, by the time it breaks out, it will have a month and a half of consolidation, pretty much exact. There you go. Boom, bop, bing, boop, pow. All righty. All right, so that was the last one I wanted to put on your radar because it is a big boy. All right, but we're going to actually close off the video with Tesla, guys. Tesla having an immaculate day over here. Congrats if you caught this move as well. All right. I happen to caught that 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 little piece right there that was all me all right but guess what you also have that i like i don't care about that ppi data i understand guys charts are bullish i'm bullish uh tesla right here with the big breakout with the big volume after the, getting the daily bullish divergence here i think we have some short-term momentum to be played and i think all of these take profit levels i think they're going to be taken out i think we're taking a ride back up to 230 baby get ready strap in let's get it and uh yeah with that being said I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.